With the animated switcher you can switch between widgets and then you can build your custom animation between them. And we will look here at different cases where you can switch between colors, you can fade in and fade out widgets and so on. If you are new here, subscribe to my channel and make sure to watch this video till the end. Let's get started with two boxes, one is orange and the other one is blue and we basically switch between them and then there is some animation. Therefore I go to our scaffold body property and here inside I add a widget which is called animated switcher. And here inside we need to supply a duration and this is the duration how long it takes until the animation goes from one state to the other state. And secondly we can supply here our child widget which is then the widget which we want to animate and in this case I put here a color of orange inside and a width and height of 200 and this looks then like this so it's a normal box. And now if we want to animate our widget we need to exchange here our child widget and therefore I simply add here first of all a key which is needed for this animated switcher and then I put here a flag inside which I have created here at the top and this is this boolean flag and we basically want to switch between true and false to exchange one widget with another widget. And if our flag is true, then we want to display here this orange box, otherwise we want to display another box. And here inside you need to supply then a key and this key needs to be different than the first key, otherwise the animation doesn't work. And inside of this container you can then set whatever you like, so you set here for example this color blue and the same width and height. And lastly we want to create a floating action button and if we click on this button then we want to toggle our flag and then we also need to call here set state so that we update our UI and that the animation is going forward. And now we can try it out so I can click here on this button and then our flag is toggled and like you can see then he is displaying here this other box, our blue box and if I click here again on this button then it is showing our orange box and this is then here this other widget. And you don't need to supply here a container, instead you can also supply here other widgets which you like. However you always need to supply here a key for this widget which you put here inside. So you can here put a text widget inside an image widget or whatever you like. And if I quickly remove here the keys and then I click here on this button you see there is no animation, it will appear immediately and therefore it's always important to have here this key, otherwise our animation is not working. Next we want to create here a more complex example where we switch between images and we also can switch this time between multiple images. And therefore I go to a new page and here within our state I create first of all an index and this is later the index of the current image which we display here in our UI. And then we want to have here a list of all the widgets between we switch and here I put basically this time an image inside and here I basically also need to set a key and I set the first one to the key one and then I also can create here other images and like you can see here this time I put a different key inside and for this one I also put put a different key inside. So this is really important that each widget has a different key in our widgets list. And now we go to our body property and here we build our animated switcher like before. We also supply here a duration and this time we access then here our widgets and then we go here over our index. So in this case I have selected here the zero index and then this image will be displayed. And like before we also want to create again a floating action button and if we press on this button we don't toggle anymore a boolean field, instead we toggle here this index field and we simply go here from our zero index to the first index to display here the next one and then we also want to display here the second image later and so on. And therefore I go here inside and I check here first of all if our current index is the last index and if this is the case then we want to set our index again to a value of zero and this is our initial index and then it displays here this image one again. And in case we are not displaying our last index of our widgets list then we want to simply increment our current index. And this will make sure that we go then from this index to the next index and to the next index and if we reach here this end then we go again to the first index. And now we can try it out, so I click here on this one and you see he is fading in and fading out our images and he is always going between them. 
And if you don't like to have a fade animation, you simply go to your animated switcher. And here you have this transition builder, so you can supply here your own animation. And here I exchange it, for example, to a size transition. And then I put here the child inside, which is here this child property. And I also put here this animation inside, inside of our size factor. And now if I click on this button, you see that he is animating here with a size animation because we have set here a size transition inside and then he is always animating to the next image. And like you can see, this image here doesn't have the full view and what you can do therefore is to simply wrap this chart, which is here our widgets index, inside of a size box expand. And now you see that our image here is expanded to the full width and to the full height of our screen. Alternatively, you also can supply next to the duration also a reverse duration. And here I set it, for example, to 500 milliseconds. And now if I click here on the next button, you see one is animating faster and the other one takes longer to animate. And this will result then in this effect. And if you like, you can also put your other animations inside. So I, for example, put right now the scale transition inside. And here you have then the scale property where you put your animation inside. And now if I click here on this button, then he is every time scaling our images. And this is also what you can do. And you can also exchange here this duration again. So for example, if I put here a higher duration inside of five seconds, then you see there is a big change. And now you can basically see better the change. One is taking here five seconds and the other one is animating in two seconds. And this gives then a really cool effect. And basically you can play here around with all the transition which you have. I can also put here a rotation transition inside and then I also need to exchange here the scale to turns. And now he's every time rotating our images if we go to the next image. Let's put again the scale transition inside and I also want to show you that you can manipulate the speed of this animation. And therefore you can set here the switch in curve and also the switch out curve. And this is then for the in animation and for the out animation. And I set it here to an ease in and ease out. And by default, both of them have a linear animation. And this means our animation has always the same speed to the next frame. And now if I put here this ease in and ease out inside, then he is animating here differently over the time and is changing our speed. And if you like, you can also put your other things inside to see it better. So you can put here this bounce in inside. And also here you can change it, for example, to a curve of bounce out. And now you should see that the animation is totally different and he is always bouncing to the next image. And lastly, we want to switch here between two images and we also want to change our color every time if we switch to a new image. And like you can see also this icon here in the middle is always fading in and out. Therefore, I have here already an image inside of our new page and around it I put a stack. And then I also add here this build play method inside and this is later displaying here our play button. And therefore I simply create here this method and inside of it we put this animated switcher. And we also need to supply again a duration. And this time we have here again a flag, what we learned in the first example. And we also want to switch here between this flag to exchange our design. And for the first case, I put here again the key inside and I put it here to one. And then you can put here, for example, a color inside. So I simply put here a red color inside. And then we also want to create here the second widget. And here you need to set then again a different key like the one before. And here inside I set then a blue color and I also add here this play icon inside of the middle. And now by default, this blue widget is here displayed with this play icon and we want to click here and then switch to this other widget. And to do this, I simply wrap here around a gesture detector. And every time if we click on this image, then we want to toggle here between our flex to exchange our widget. And now if I click here on this widget, you see he is toggling between the blue and red color. And also he is fading this play icon in and out. And now I also want to quickly remove here the both colors, the red color and also the blue color. And now we have here only this icon and I cannot click here anywhere on the screen anymore. And therefore I also want to put here in our gesture detector this hit test behavior to opaque. And this hit test behavior will make sure that I now can click here anywhere and then he is fading our widget in and out again. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter. And see you soon, bye.